Have a good day! I was actually laying in bed, it's a Sunday morning, and I was feeling sorry for myself, and then I finally said, you know what, I've been, I've been slacking on my walk across America training, uh, there's two points, I got to 41.2 miles, and the second time I gave up, like right as I thought that I had walked my farthest ever, and I actually fell up short that second time, so I just, I need, I need a big walking day. And I figured I'm going to walk 50 miles, anything over 50 miles, right here, right now, on this Sunday, April 3rd. I don't care if it takes me 10 hours, I don't care if it takes me 16 hours. I am going to motherfucking walk until I physically cannot walk any longer. All right, now these Reebok pumps have seen better days, and that is why they are, they're done. Uh, I went out and I actually bought these uh, ASIC Gel Nimbus 18 it actually feels like I'm walking on clouds, uh, but I do have the proper running shoes and I do actually have uh, a Fan sent me these knee braces which actually helped me uh, Walk I, it feels like I'm walking on trampolines behind my knees I don't know what that means, but it, it feels like I'm walking on clouds and trampolines as I'm Walking for hours on end all I'm really gonna do I just want to document this because I plan on pushing my body to the farthest it's ever been pushed uh, right here, right now, today. I'll update every five miles, and that's how we'll do it. Nice, easy, quick, simple, to the point. Enough, let's go, let's do this, all business. Three power aids, a water, bolt house farms, and apple, and what I've been doing, I've actually been walking with, uh, well, I just got these the other day, I did two 12 pound weights, and then I did 12 pound weights the other day, and uh, I was gonna walk with no weights today, but I figured the first half of this walk, I'll walk with the weight, so the second half, that's uh, gonna feel a lot easier, like I'm walking on air. All right, it's uh, 3.20 p.m. on a Sunday, and I just decided that I want to physically see how long I can go non-stop walking without like rest or sleeping, so uh, be a pretty interesting video here. That's, I'm gonna push myself until like, Farther than I've ever pushed my body before, so I'm interested to see how I hold up. I have a 12 pound weight in my backpack. Check up on the five mile mark. Uh, we're at five miles, it's a little bit windy, so I'm just gonna keep on going here. And I just had a goo gel energy packet, which uh, helps, has caffeine, helps to keep you going, and a uh, power aid, so check into 10 miles. Feeling good. All right, it's uh, 6.30 p.m., just finished mile number 10. Uh, I call that touching the brick. Uh, from where I start to when I touch the brick back and forth, uh, it's 20 miles, so uh, I plan on touching the brick in the next 24 hours at least four times minimum. So I'm heading to the Chipotle right now, get off my feet, get loaded up with fuel, protein, and uh, yeah, I'll just keep checking in every five miles. I really just wanna focus and conserve my energy, so. Uh, and I'll try and not walk when I do this because it gets a little shaky. So 10 miles in, feeling good, going to Chipotle and uh, catch you there. miles, it's 8.43 p.m. Feeling good, feeling strong. I think this bag that I'm wearing may weigh close to 40 pounds, but uh, feel good, and I, uh, next time you'll see me, I'll be at home, probably right around the 21 mile mark, so stay tuned for that, but focus, I'm in the zone, 15 miles, like an absolute boss, stay tuned.
All right, there we go. It's 10:17 p.m. Uh, 20 miles, 20.17 miles. Probably, <coughs> excuse me. I've been on the road for probably seven hours, eight hours now. Probably gonna get off my feet for a good hour and a half, two hours, and then go do the loop again, touch that brick. And then I'm gonna probably come back, rest for another two hours, touch the brick again, and just keep going. All right, uh, we're at 20 miles, it's 1 a.m. Uh, I'm whispering because I don't wanna wake up the neighbors, but yeah, I'm about to walk for another 20 miles. Uh, I'll keep you updated every five miles and just, yeah, it already looks like my eyes are getting messed up from walking so much, but yeah, I'm trying to just take it easy and it's it's I tell myself it's a marathon not a sprint and I'm trying to go for this full 24 hours so uh, I took a nice two and a half hour rest and I'm going to walk for five hours and go from there so check in at the 25 mile mark early beast like a boss walk across America good day hit 25 miles uh, yeah my testicles are chafing but not to worry because I went to the grocery store and got this uh, I guess rash medicine for babies called like butt paste and it definitely helps with the chafing so uh, my legs are going strong yeah I think I was carrying around that bag that weighed like 40 pounds and now I have really no weight except for the protein shakes that I need to drink and Chipotle burrito, so I definitely feel lighter lighter on my feet uh, And I'm going to Aggressively fuel my body if I feel like uh, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna drink and if I feel like I'm starting to uh, Burn calories in my stomach. I got to eat stuff. I have bananas as well. So uh, Not right now chief. I'm in the fucking zone. I'm focused. All right, uh, it's 4.28 a.m., just hit 30 miles, and I am uh, I feel okay. I feel like I, I've done 30 miles before. I've done 40 miles before, so uh, my legs are still moving. Uh, I just I feel like I'm getting sick. For some reason, my throat just doesn't feel well. It feels like I have a strep throat, and uh, other than that, yeah, I put the uh, cream on my balls, so chafing is kind of going away. Uh, feet feel fine, shoes and socks and everything feel fine, and uh, I'm just going to keep on going. I don't have much time left. I have probably 11 more hours that I have to walk to see how far I can get within a 24-hour period because I was lazy this morning, and I felt like I wasn't achieving anything, so I, I'm sitting all by myself. Marina Del Rey, uh, like an absolute boss, in a uh, bus stop park bench. So I'm gonna get my ass up. We're gonna go touch the brick for the second time, and then hightail it home to rest for an hour. So let's go touch the brick, and then I'll catch up at 35 miles. Let's do this. Uh. All right, uh, <coughs> I don't, I think I have like bronchitis. I don't even know what bronchitis is. I just reached 35.03 miles at 6.14 a.m. Uh, and I'm just trying to, I'm about five miles from home. Yeah, the sun is up. It's about 7 a.m., uh, about 37 and a half miles in. I'm almost home. I'm going to get off my feet for an hour, and then it's, uh, 
load up with as much fuel as I can and then I'm going ape shit. I'm going full on ape shit. I think uh, mentally, I think the, the issue that I had here was that I walked with 24 pounds worth of weight in my bag for the first 20 miles. So that totally slowed me down. Uh, but excuses are the nails that build the house of failure. I'm still gonna continue to walk this entire 24 hours. So uh, check in at 40 miles. Uh, 40.03, it's 8.03 in the morning. Uh, uh, I just need to get off my legs until about 10. And then from 10, it's just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk and see how far I can go. I think my body, yeah, right around 40 miles, right around 40 miles. Uh, I think the most I've ever done was 41.2 miles. And this is where my body, sorry, this is where my body starts to shut down. So I'm just gonna get off my feet, rehydrate with some protein, eat a Chipotle burrito, some bananas, and I'm just, I'm fucking going. And I'm going, if, if, if the Uber driver has to scrape me up off of the sidewalk and get me back home, then that's how it's gonna be. So I'm going to utilize my shower deck chair. Yeah, you can't see it, but yes, that, that ladies and gentlemen is a shower. 9.49 a.m. I have until approximately 3.20, 3.30. I just finished stretching and uh, oh, that little bit of rest, that little opening there, uh, gave me a second win. There you go. I decided to incorporate the 12 pound dumbbell into this last phase of walking. Uh, most likely because I'm mentally ill. I'm the LA beast. And when I say I'm gonna finish strong, I'm going to finish strong and or with broken bones. So 45 mile mark, stay tuned. I don't know if I filmed that one before, but uh, yeah, it's not the same shot because it's the next day. Uh, that guy's kicking my ass. There we go, 45. What the fuck, 45.08. 45.08, I can't even see if you can see it. Uh, it's 11.44, so I have a little less than four hours left to go, and it feels like I have a goddamn grand piano on my back. I, I, to be honest, I have no idea what's going on. I am sleep deprived, so I'm gonna piss my pants. All right, uh, 50 miles. Uh, it's about 1.40 p.m. Got a little less than two hours. I'm aiming for 60 miles, see how it goes. But yeah, my legs feel, I think I'm starting to hallucinate first off, and then my legs feel like from my feet, up until below my knees are just swollen. Yeah, 50 miles. I just gotta keep going. My legs feel like boat anchors right now. 52 miles in, can't feel my legs. Uh, I'm gonna drop off this 12 pound weight and then I, I, if I have to crawl to 60 miles, I will crawl to 60 miles. All right, uh, we're 52.34 miles in, I'm losing, I just lost my voice. And uh, yeah, I'm, I just, I've landed on the floor like this. And I'm just chilling, man. I'm not quitting, dude. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting my bearings straight. I, I didn't come this far to quit. I just need, I can't really feel my feet, so. I'm just giving it a, like, I don't know, 20 minutes here. Just document the time. 2.45, 2.45 p.m. So it looks like a 24 hour total is not going to be 60, but if I gotta walk 27 hours, then fuck it. Uh, okay. Uh, 428 and uh, I'm just going to stretch I just woke up I passed out on the floor face down uh, yeah and I'm going to just stretch and then go walk 
go as far as I can and then that, that's it. I'm calling it done. Miles, uh, 5:32. I don't. I can't function right now. I'll do the math later, but almost there. I don't know how I'm functioning right now. I'm so tired. Like I could go to sleep on this sidewalk right now. So I must be up for 27 hours. And I've just been walking, dude. Ugh. What I did there. Uh. I did it. All right. I think staying up for, yeah, Jesus, 7.30, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've stayed, I've stayed up for like 28 hours straight. I just walked 60 miles and then probably two of the four loops, I had a more than like 12 to 20 pounds of weight in my backpack. So yeah, fuck yeah. I kept myself fueled the entire time. I think uh, I think I have achieved the goal that I set out to achieve. And uh, yeah, if I want to be the fastest man to walk across the United States of America, uh, add on eight miles. So it should be 68 miles every day for 44 days straight. And right now, I just want to collapse. So uh, yeah, cool. Thank you for tuning in. I'm trying to make this as non-boring as possible and Hell yeah, Ellie Beast. Have a good day. I can't even do that. Based on past experiences of spraying pepper spray directly into my face, I should have no problems jamming these straws directly into my nostrils and blowing neon green glow in the dark fluid directly out of my eye socket. And I have a feeling I'm going to instantly regret this. Have a good day.